Alright, in this video I'm going to show you about skin, which that is uh, literally the skin. And you can see those little brown dots, I hope. Some, this might be a little hard for you to see. But I'm going to put it under a microscope. And you can see the little white um, mineralization in there, the calcification. And here on the broken side where the uh, flesh would be, this is where the uh, red blood comes in the arterial side and it works its way through these little tiny vessels here you see all these little tiny holes and the blood works its way through until it turns black on the vein side that is the way blood transfers in your body that's the natural process I'm going to show this all in a microscope and you'll see all of the details I'm talking about see those little tiny dots that's I believe the silicon and uh, that is what sheds off and becomes SiO2 when it bonds with oxygen. Silicon does not stay well in its uh, atomic state un uh, unless it's in the body floating around in its uh, in the bodily matrix. And I'll go through all this and what's left over after that goes away is the kaolin clays. Kaolin clay is literally the matrix that holds the, the, the silicas together that is coats your body. And we're going to go through the silicas of the skin and, and the tissues of the skin. And then we're going to go through the, 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 uh, the tissues that are inside the body and the fascia that protects them. And I'll show you that. And it's, it, the fascia is this sort of stuff right here. Uh, this is a, a lung. Now this has been human uh, DNA tested. And uh, this this fabricy stuff on the outside is um, is the uh, fashion, and we'll go through all this in the microscope. And it all has a fashion, and that's what keeps all these things separated: the lungs from you know, keep them separated; the heart, the tendons, the fingers, the, you know, skin keeps things separated. The bones, uh, uh, there's a fascia, and uh, they call it a, a periosteum on the bones and that is what separates it from sticking into your uh, other parts of your body. Everything in your body is separated by fascia. Every single molecule, I mean every single cell literally, all the fibers in your body. So we'll go over all of these things. Every single body part is preserved. Nothing is gone. They preserve in, in many different ways. Some of them are like that lung and some of them are mud lungs and that's a mud lung and been preserved in that manner and then other ones get preserved uh, in, in different ways and that is literally the blood the black and the red which is the ferrous oxide two and three and that is a lung and I can show you the fascia on that as well in the microscope and when they bleed out they, the bodily tissues turn into uh, minerals and we call them granites and chondrites and you know that's another one right there and that would be considered some uh, igneous rock or metamorphic this or that they, 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 whatever they call them they're lungs and the metals are in there and the, and the, the tissue is in there and this is a lung too and that was in a, likely in some uh, hold on one second in some volcanic activity which pH is extremely critical and you can see that there's the red blood that would have been inside this lung and you see what happens in those vugs you see that little diamond or whatever's growing there a little crystal that's where they find crystals they grow inside these vugs after the organic matter sublimates out and it leaves these crater looking things uh, and sometimes they will if they're in the right conditions in the percolates uh, there'll be metal seeds and the metal seeds will grow into crystals and there's some here and there in this one uh, not very many but and some of them are loaded with them and that's what they find and that's a lung that that's some form of a lung from I don't know what it is from but that's a lung now so they could they and this here's another lung all right now this one is partially deteriorated you see uh, and this might be hard for you to see but and this will turn red too. If I spray this with water, it'll rehydrate the, the red. But this is the pleura area here that's eroded away, and you end up with the what was left over of the lung inside. 
and some of them will go all the way to the internal structure here. This one bled like a stuck pig. It's, it really, literally had globs of blood all over it, and I have pictures of that. This was years ago, so it's no longer, but you can see the actual structure of the lung. That's the lobes of the lung. You see those? Might be hard for you to see. But I, I have all this stuff very well documented. Those are the lobes of the lung. And you can see them in, in, a, <laughs> in the uh, anatomical pictures that I have. I have lots of this stuff. So it's not like there's only a little here or a little there. There's plenty to look at. And that's selenite. That's uh, literally um, petrified tendon. And those strappy little things inside are tendons. And I have one over here that has the actual abrupt transition. You see that? Look at that. That's amazing. That is the, that stuff in there, that's not dirt. That line right there is the abrupt transition from where tendons go from, um, from being, um, from, from like a fibrous material and they sort of glue glop together and then they sort of go off into the muscles and uh, and this is known and I have other ones to show this very very well this was given to me or sent to me by uh, Becky Dorius very nice lady I believe she's out in Utah or uh, she was moving at the time but this was in the area she was in and she sent me some of this and it happened to be one with an abrupt transition and it, it's that's just amazing because this is from a huge, huge creature. And that this is the tendinous material. And if you look carefully, you'll see all the little layers of the tendons. So we're going to go through all this. And then they have veins and arteries and all the rocks. They all have them. And um, it's just, you know, as soon as I show you how to look at these things, here's another one. There's veins and arteries in that. You see that? Is the, the vein, and they are—they always turn black because the blood is a expanded blood, FeO2, and this is a, the uh, this would be crystallized or open because the art arteries are FeO3, and there is no restrictions in the arteries. So this is what we're going to go over in a minute. So this is and stick with me if you want to see this, or if you don't, if you're not interested, well, that's up to you, but. I'm going to show the transition, so all of this stuff. I have uh, copious amounts. Of this. I actually filled a 200-foot ditch with the leftovers. I, I saved the good stuff, you know, about a lot of good stuff. I threw a lot of good stuff. I, you can only have so much, and I need it for a drainage ditch, so that's how it works. Uh, and it gets everywhere. It's in your backyard. You go pick up this in your backyard or go in the woods or anywhere you've got. You know, as close as you can get to a rock. Look at it carefully. After I show you what to look for, you'll be able to understand what is a tendon, what's a finger, what's a, uh, a lung, what's a heart. And hearts have a certain structure to them that's fully under, you know, I understand it. And it'll be understood because it's the, the valves of the heart have um, different thicknesses of the, the, the ventricle walls. One of them is only 25% of the other. And it's very, very obvious when you see one. And as a matter of fact, here's one right here. And uh, let's see if I can show you. You know, I should show you this all a piece at a time, but I, I get carried away. That right there, that line with those black spots in it, is a ventricle wall. And then another one runs off of it in a very narrow band. And you have to you have to look at it close. But I mean, I have people sending me stuff all over the world of hearts and and, and you know like um, uh, lungs like this. You know, and you could see the the red blood at the top was where it was invested up here. And it's the same shape as the lungs and the red blood at the bottom. It's uh, and this this they mineralize according to what is in the, the percolates that are in the water where this thing was preserved. Some of them are, are in very clear water, some of them are in volcanic uh, thermal conditions and all kinds of percolates in the water and those adhere to 
things that are in a body because creatures are extremely chemically reactive and that's it's a continuous chemically reactive process that creates life it just you don't just sit there and things happen inside of you with little machines or something i mean it does happen that way but they're all powered by chemistry the chemistry stops boop, you start to blow up like a balloon and explode literally because the gases start to they can't transfer and they things don't work the way they're supposed to and, and, and they start to bubble and boil inside you literally and it blows out your bodily fluids out of the arterial areas mainly because they're open the veins clamp off because they have valves inside them that don't let the vein, blood go backwards in your veins because it's already been used up anyway we'll go over all stuff you have to and, and if you've got anybody that's a medical person an anatomist a geologist um, a doctor uh, uh, anybody that ha has has a theoretical background about the earth and about rocks because this goes into comets too comets are made out of the same stuff uh, comet 67p 100 percent organic and 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 this is proven now they have a lander up there philly lander i think it's called the uh, european space agency has sent out a, a lander it landed on there and it's collecting samples and all this stuff so it's not something that's a guess at this point and it's all new stuff and they realize nothing is right that they have been saying and that is literally a giant tendon from some giant creature I, it, bizarre as it sounds I have a video on it and it's on it's called uh, Comet 67P Mysterious Features Discussed anyway we're going to go over all this stuff it's a whole new world literally I'm here to show you something today that's called mud fossils, and they're um, completely verified. There's uh, multiple DNA tests, three of them. There's seven CAT scans have been done uh, on these, and, and they're considered rocks by geologists, but they're not rocks. They are parts of, of creatures that have petrified and um, the, the work has been done on it and I'm going to show it today and completely show that geology is based on a false premise that these things just all glob together in this form by themselves and that is not the case at all uh, and I intend to show that and prove that with microscopy spectral analysis chemistry recreated the process DNA and CAT scans and, and uh, anatomists who um, have verified all of these things and and I have all the documentation and proof and lab tests and and, and uh, all of that's been sequenced all three tests have been sequenced and, and they turned out to be human mitochondrial DNA so I, I'm going to present that evidence right now and we're going to show uh, well I'm going to show you exactly what these specimens are consist of and they are if I'm saying what's true and it is true they will have all the characteristics of a creature which means it'll have skin it'll have uh, w where the bone was and, and all these things have been replaced by minerals so they're not going to be necessarily uh, obvious but you'll see they, they are obvious but so like the bones get replaced by uh, the calcium and phosphates and so forth very reactive to uh, invasive molecules anyway I'll show you all this stuff and uh, the bone is obvious too as a matter of fact here's one bone right here there's no question what they are they're bones and and, and the skin and, and tissue and everything is still intact because they were preserved by wet cold muds and the bone is in there but it's very very difficult to see there's a very tiny little piece of it left and I'm gonna to have to show you in a, a better light and so forth anyway this is what it is and uh, I'm gonna show you that these are these organs here there's all the parts of the body and they separate because fascia is the separation layer of everything that's in your body that's so, so you don't mix all together and it works in cold well not necessarily cold but in wet conditions and that's just its nature it's supposed to separate everything out and it does and after you die they remain separated and that's why they're all in their natural conditions that would be in the body only now they mineralize into uh, they've taken on and 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 bonded to the things that are in the water that is in the, the percolates and the skin primarily of creatures is made of silicon and it bonds to the oxygen in the water and becomes SiO2 silicon dioxide which 
commonly is known as sand and uh, feldspars. And that, and I'm going to show you the, the spectral analysis of this. There's, there's the sandstones, which are the skinnish things, and then you get into the insides, which are mud rocks and limestones. And, and it's very simple, and you don't have to have any special knowledge of anything. It's better if you don't have any knowledge of anything, because what you, what you would have to unlearn is going to be more difficult than what you have to learn. So just show me, and I'll show you with the microscopes, there's, there's no question what it is here. And, and like I say, DNA, <laughs> it just won't be, con won't even be confronted by Yale or Harvard or uh, Johns Hopkins or uh, University of Texas or any of them. They just would stay away and they will, hundreds of uh, requests and not one single response. So I'm taking it to you who will be able to go in your backyard and find these rocks and realize that they are not rocks. They have veins and they have arteries. And they have um, articulations. Some of them are almost virtually uh, body parts that are, are, are undeteriorated. And, and I'll show you those.